all right welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another weathering ways video so uh we're gonna go over quickly the future adjustments directions you know their little blog posts right so we're not gonna go through everything because we pretty much kind of just go through like the meat of the what we pretty much what we getting so yeah hopefully you guys enjoy hopefully this uh pretty much you know helps you out and uh yeah let's uh let's get to it so number one the echo development experience so yeah so echo development feels grindy and we don't have enough materials which i agree uh the task feels the 60 wave plates and it's just like man they don't give us enough like one task of field pretty much gets you like one level two levels of echoes at most right uh I mean, you do have a choice to farm in the open world. You know, I feel like that is grindy. But, I mean, it is your choice to uh, grind in open world. I, I think that's a good option that they gave us, right? And I know a lot of people are complaining about it. But I feel like, you know, it's a choice, you know. But I do feel like the task of field should be uh, lowered, right? Or they just increase our wave plates, right? All right, so number one, we will launch a limited time echo event. All right, so they're, they're going to launch an echo times two echo event event called cord cleansing and then they're going to reduce the shell credit cost of echo development so you know less of the cost you know more you know more stuff that we can you know use to you know level up stuff uh so they're going to remove the cutscene of the task field which is awesome because it just doesn't make sense to keep watching it every time we beat task field uh, so the echoes and echo development materials will be increased, which is awesome. And then, uh, they'll introduce a wave plate storage system, which, yes, this is pretty much, I feel like this is going to be like the condensed resin and like in Genshin. All right. So, yeah, so we're introducing the wave plate storage system, as uh, I said. Okay. So, and then they're having an issue when you're feeding your, you know, already leveled up echoes to another echo. So, we're pretty much not getting a back what we're supposed to be getting. So uh, for that, we're going to get, uh, so I guess supposedly they they did a emergency like update, but they, they kind of failed to realize or um, announced it, announced what was going on. So they're giving us pretty much a million shell credit, right? So to keep the story short. So we're getting a, um, a million, a million shell credit, right? and then uh this is this is the time right here that we're getting it um so yeah uh what else what else so on the five star description uh to keep this short jp experienced a translation translation issue on gn's weapon banner or what the weapon does and it pretty much just you know caused hell in jp's uh <laughs> Uh, jp server and yeah so pretty much it didn't do what it said it did and yeah so it was just a whole bunch of crazy stuff so they're pretty much giving us five free summons on the weapon banner so forging tides is pretty much the currency of the weapon banner so keep that in mind so we're getting it to all rovers to known localization issues so this was a jp issue but they're gonna pretty much compensate everybody so that's awesome uh, so they were getting this on June 3rd and it's valid up until June 28th. So other versions, uh, oh no, version events over club events. So pretty much we're getting another event called Re Weathering Exploration. And this event is pretty much from uh, the 13th, June 13th to the 27th, right? Because, um, you know, the Overdash club event, not really a big event, right? So, you know, they received a lot of feedback on it so we're getting another event so we're getting 800 s rights uh right here morpho el morphable elite class echo one two premium two and a premium seal two over so these elite class echoes are pretty much like kind of like the elusive realm uh ones that you can buy pretty much i want to say so so yeah uh and then right here we're getting yinlin early so supposedly we we're supposed to get yinlin like later on but they're pushing it early on june 6th which is like literally like what four days so we're getting a companion story for yinlin yinlin and the the combine event which is pretty much the summoning banner for her right and then we're getting a challenge event uh, alloy smelt 
So, so yeah, so that's crazy. Uh, so they're pushing this. I, I don't know why, but I kind of want to guess because ZZZ is supposed to be coming out, you know, when this was supposed to be releasing. So they're pushing it early just because I, I feel like that's a smart move, right? Because, you know, uh, Zenless Zone Zero is, you know, I feel like it's going to be pretty big, right? Uh, but yeah, so... All right, so 1.0 will only last till June 28th, so keep that in mind. And then we're going to get the update for 1.1 right here. So Thov Eons, I know I'm not. Okay, there you go. And then we're going to get a new area, right? New area of Mount Firmament. Firmament, yep, Firmament. <laughs> new Resonators, Jinshi and Changli. So let me know in the comments who are you going to go for. Because me, I'm going for Changli because I like, I really like her design. And also, we're getting a new boss, Ju, or you, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. And then we're getting another free 10 pull on the limited banner. So this is the perfect time to reroll for anybody that's trying to reroll. For me, I'm not rerolling because I put too much time in my account. So uh, yeah, we're getting a Radiant Tide uh, times 10. So uh, uh, 10 pull, man, free. And then uh, they talk about pretty much combat and control experience optimization because auto aiming sucks. So they're pretty much going to, you know, you know, make that better. They're going to add um, key remapping requirements. Right. So they pretty much go right here. Auto aiming, auto lock on the camera performance battle. So. So they're pretty much optimizing default values and ranges ranges for combat camera settings um so they're supposedly changing boss existing comic state uh, unexpectedly <laughs> so i i feel like this one is I, I feel like if you're like going right by the boss they just kind of just hit you out of nowhere i guess so they're going to introduce a disengagement warning feature so yeah um yeah i guess you know it is what it is uh, I I haven't had any trouble with this, uh, the boss combat state unexpectedly. Just me, just going like I beat a boss and I go to my menus. Then after that, I close out of menus and suddenly he's attacking me. But I feel like I find that funny. Um, so <laughs> I feel like that, you know, they can leave it. You know, I, I wouldn't mind. You know, but I don't know if that's that or it's just like if you're walking around the boss, they just up and hit you. I, I'm not sure. Uh, let me know in the comments if this happened to you. Uh, ghost touch is used on mobile pretty much uh they're just gonna optimize pretty much the touch area of the button that you need to press so uh because mobile yeah it, it's not that great but i play on mobile sometimes so uh so custom key binding right is slower to union level two now supposedly and um they're gonna tr introduce new player tutorial for using the custom key binding feature and will gradually support more custom key binding options for more uh, for both keyboard mouse and controller modes okay so controller experience mode optimization so they can remap you know shortcuts for open chat to open map uh and add an option to invert the y-axis right future version will support controller mode on mobile devices so this is a big one for mobile players uh so this one poor game you know, design impact signification so yeah they're just going to improve stuff like you know characters monsters enhance the overall combat experience and positive feedback during battles and uh, supposedly right here, I guess um, people are purchasing accidentally on some stuff. So they're going to add probably like a, a feature. Uh, so, uh, oh yeah, they added a weekly purchase limit for certain items in the store. Okay, so audio sound effect bugs. Everybody knows the sound effect bugs. So I'm not going to go over that. Uh, performance issues, crashes, and instabilities pretty much. Uh, they just got to optimize the game pretty much, man. Uh, that's that's pretty much they you know they're 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 working on it right they're working on it so deaths of depths of elusive realm event optimization and updates so they receive more feedback uh so 1.1 update they will further improve the event and add new content including more playable characters new challenges new mechanics and new buffs okay so for me with elusive that's my favorite uh thing to do in the game the playable characters they they need to add more playable characters especially um like, I can't use Danjin, I can't use Jianshin, and it's like, damn, dude. You know, uh, I'm forced to use Yang Yang in level 65. <laughs> and it's like, it's, it's it's difficult, man. If you have Ji Yan, you can use Ji Yan in, in, in this, and it's like, you'll have a breeze, right? 
but if you don't have the you know the characters that you know that you can play it's it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult uh right now yang yang i have to use and yeah so yeah just yeah just do more playable characters you know new challenges is good too new mechanics what i love about this is it pretty much it just brings like the echoes pretty much to life in this sub mode like uh for instance crownless you get like a level two on the crownless and he's on field for like for a while it's it's crazy and uh so this is pretty much their outro it's pretty much how they're you know just optimizing organizing and just just keep taking you know player feedbacks and trying to make weathering ways better so this is pretty much like a breakdown for everything uh, i didn't want to go through all of it because it's pretty damn long so so yeah so in conclusion we're getting a times two echo event right uh we're getting oh no did i did i go through this i don't know if i went through this but uh we're getting the crystal solvents times 20 uh so i would definitely um save this for uh the times two echo event right uh, what else are we getting we're getting a 1 million shell credits i don't know where the hell they mentioned that again right here so we're gonna times two echo event shell credit 1 million uh we're getting 20 of the crystal solvents which is crazy right uh i don't know if i went over that already but uh yeah so i'll go over it now um we're getting five summons of the weapon banner right and new events right we get yelling early um and then we're getting pretty much um a, a free limited multi right which is crazy right so that's pretty much what all we getting right and just pretty much like just making them making the game better so it, it's crazy man so hopefully you guys enjoy and uh i'll see you guys in the next one